Hello guys, amazing like a one, two, three here, and as you can see, uh, that word, those words at the top say invasion from below. So yes, you know this is now the return of Hero Factory. The summer wave, wave two, of invasion from below has been released now, and uh, we will be starting uh, wave two with set four four zero two five, ages seven to fourteen. This is on Bulk's drill machine. As you can see, it includes a uh, green jumper with the new blue top to it. It includes Bulk and one of the new spoons. And then uh, on the back here, we've got all the features. So we don't really want to spend too much time on the bag because we want to get this thing opened because we want to see exactly what new pieces and interesting stuff this set comes with. So let's get it opened and take a look what it comes with. Okay, and there's a quick look inside the opened up pa package of the bulk drill machine. So now let's empty out the contents. And as you can see straight away, we have got here uh, two bags, one big bag with all the big pieces, and then one little bag. Um, just start by taking a quick look at the little bag. Uh, I'll get to all the minifigure parts in the, uh, that part of the review, but you'll see in pretty much everything that's in here. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to open that until we get to the actual build. And um, here is the torso piece it uses, which that's quite surprising that it has a torso. Uh, you may find it weird that it has a torso because these new machines are more adapted for underground. And on the back, as you can see, the Win logo is using the uh, um, minifigures uh, <laughs> robot guy. And uh, here is the combination model with the all three of the uh, hero vehicles, except Surge's machine. And then here is the combination model model bleh, model with all the beasts. And yeah, you can see all those cocoons. And there are three colours of cocoon, which is nice. So you can like make a cocoon with one of each colour. That would look pretty cool. And then there you can see uh, how we can uh, switch all of these pe extra pieces that go on the machines, which in a future review when I have some of the other machines, I will show you how that all works. Then in the front we've got a brand new comic strip, and we actually have a maze here. Let's do and then straight in with the build. But anyway, let's get this big bag opened and take a look at everything that's in here because I can straight off see some interesting pieces. Okay, so we are straight in with the bag and first of all, that something that catches my attention are these new pieces. They are identical, so I'll just show you one of them. But these are the new cocoon pieces. As you can see, uh, they attach with an axle there, and um, you just connect all three of them onto one of these pieces here, like so, and then using three of them, you just put them together like so, and uh, there you have a cocoon. So these three pieces, they are identical, but they work really nice together, and then you can kind of peel back the cocoon like that, and like you have the jump invaders or jumpers, whatever you want to call them, just kind of jump out. So yeah, that's a nice piece, and yeah, that's a nice cocoon, we'll get more on that in the review. We have the pieces for the jumper, as you can see they recolored this piece in blue for the new jumpers, and then we've got the same old jumper piece there. Uh, we've got this orange drill, not sure if this is new, but I've never got an orange drill piece before, so yeah, it's nice to get that. These pieces are nice to get because we don't see these very often. I mean, they're becoming more and more common as you get through these years, but still nice to get them. They are nice pieces. And the bones, we've seen them all before. I'm just going to uh, show you them here. You see, there are all the bones. Pause if you want to see exactly which ones we get. And then we've got some pieces for bulk here. But again, more on that when I get to the minifigure part of the review. Got uh, two number fives that are identical with this print on. Two number fours in gunmetal grey. And then four number threes in orange. And then some just plain old Technic pieces. But yeah, and then we've got the cockpit here. So yeah, that's it for the pieces really. So now let's go ahead and use these instructions and put it together and take a look at Bulk's drill machine.
Okay, and there is Bulk's draw machine, and we'll start by taking a look at Bulk. Of course, he is one of the new heroes for uh, summer 2014. Uh, him and Surge were newly released in this wave, and as you can see, I think they've done a pretty good job on him. I mean, the mask there looks pretty accurate to the one he had in Brain Attack, like a miniature scale version of it. Now he has got the lime green head there. He has got, uh, just like all the heroes, the same build as all of the heroes, so I'm not going to bother taking him apart. As you can see, the gunmetal grey there with the chest plate really looks pretty good uh, with the uh, silver there. And as you can see with the gun, they have gone away from using the ADU guns. And now, as you see all these extra studs here, well, uh, what did we see in Star Wars at the start of the year that was introduced? We just push that grey piece there, and uh, yeah, they are now using the new stud launchers that were introduced in Star Wars, so that's pretty nice. And if you really wanted to, you could just make a long laser beam with all the spare pieces and then just shoot that. And that still works. So yeah, that's a nice thing to get, the new Star Wars blasters that were introduced. And yeah, again, there's just another look at Bulk there. And now let's, before we get on to Bulk's drill machine, take a good look at the cocoon now. As you can see, you've got space to hold it with your fingers if you want to. You've got these little holes there, and then uh, you can just, like I showed earlier, peel these back and then have the uh, Invade Jumpers uh, hatch out. So the cocoons have got two um, versions that are peeled back and you've got the closed. So you can kind of have it like where that part's closed and then Jumper just lunges out of that side. And then you can also put a hero in there and capture the hero minifigures. So that's nice and they close up pretty well and I'm really impressed with the design on these especially the way they're built and of course the jumpers this jumper now they do look pretty cool with these uh, blue tops on and of course you know how the jumpers work where you just press down on the back there and they jump pretty nicely as well so I'll just show you that from a different angle here and as you see they jump really, really nicely, and you can fit it in the cocoon. So we just peel this back, and it's nice to get this one in blue because, in my opinion, the blue is my favourite colour of these cocoons. So that's pretty much why I got Bulk's drill machine first, uh, because it was a nice uh, small one, and it came with a blue cocoon. As you can see, here is the drill machine itself, and. Uh, as you can see, first of all, we've got these four legs. Uh, the two front ones are the same, and the two back ones are the same. So I'll just take these up. So the front ones have got, they've all got articulation in the knee and the, uh, with the uh, shoulder, I guess you could say there. And you can kind of get it in like a, uh, a uh, strong, angry pose and like tensing up, and, like cr uh, crawling up and stuff. But, with the uh, front legs, as you can see, the arm piece goes on one of those pieces and yeah, you've got that gap there, so you can extend these legs if you wanted to and make them taller and then the printed piece goes on the front ones, so that's nice and then they just attach on there like that and then here are the back legs, as you can see, these ones just attach with those so you can uh, use these and like if the front legs and go skiing or something so that's nice, and then they've just got some plain armour on, and they are smaller because they are backpacks, and they don't look as um, bulky, but that's okay, because as I said, they're my clothes. And then you can see this big drill here, and as you can see we've got these on the sides, and we do have four flip styles, and as you see they fire pretty nicely actually. And then this whole drill got these on the back which you can use to turn the drill and then you can kind of uh, if you want to try and go on the ground uh, it would be easy to go on the ground from behind there like that so you can it draws behind and then turns around but then you've also on the back here got these which are the lasers so you can flip the drill around and then use these to shoot uh, I guess you could say shoot these laser cannons at stuff and then the drill also has got a laser in there but that doesn't fire anything out so that's just really there for decoration 
but it's, in, it's still nice how they did it and you can if you wanted to really wanted to drill into the actual machine but yeah I'm pretty impressed with the design whole design of the uh, drill machine and like you can actually reach the um, ground from behind and just like I showed you uh, in the back of the instructions you can take this whole compartment off here this is the entire drill compartment and you can put it on one of the other machines and when I get some of the other machines like Breeze's Flea Machine I will show you that part uh, but and then you can like attach the part from Breeze's Flea Machine onto there so I'll just show you that again when we get to it here yeah. uh, as you see you can switch them around so like that part from Breeze's Flea Machine you can put on there um, but yeah because I only have Bulk's Drill Machine so far I can only really show you it with Bulk's Drill but yeah that's nice and then in the front here with the cockpit it's a nice uh, dark grey brownish colour and you got the sticker with Bulk on there and then you can open this up of course and attach them if you've seen these from the start of the year you will know how they work you just attach the uh, hero into the back there and then you can close these up Close that up there, and then you've got these on the front, which you can also use as laser cannons if you wanted to. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it to show with Bork's drill machine. So, now let's go into ratings for this set. Overall, I'm gonna have to give this set a 10. I mean, yeah, it's my first uh, from the Invasion from Below Wave 2 set, and I am really impressed. And this set has given me a good. Uh, a good uh, mood for the whole second wave with all the cocoons and everything and because of course this wave is where they go underground and I'm really impressed with the uh, blue top for the jumpers and I'm not, it's nice that they're using these Star Wars blasters now instead of using the ADU guns um, yeah as I said I'm pretty impressed with the cocoons as well because they work really really nicely so yeah that's about it for the bulk drill machine I definitely recommend this set if you want to get bulk and one of the new cocoons because these cocoons can be real, could be really, really useful in uh, future themes and stuff. So yeah, that's about it. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.